then, at the end of the day, the different groups fuse together again. They usually meet up for a drink by the mountain chalet. Much to the delight of these hikers. Will goats approach any human without distinction? That is what our British zoologists are trying to establish. Hattie is one of the rare nanny goats to be born here because her mother was already pregnant when she arrived. She has spent her whole life in close contact with her carers and knows how to get them to understand her. But does she understand us? She is the ideal subject for this test the scientists have come up with. Recognizing our facial expressions can be critical for animals. Dogs, cats, and horses can do it, but can goats? Hattie doesn't know this face. She is curious and checks it out. First, the photograph of the girl is smiling. Then the one where she is unhappy. But the one she pays most attention to is the one with the positive emotion. She doesn't want to go anywhere near a negative-looking person who might harm her. It's the same for the majority of goats at the sanctuary. Both our pets and farm animals understand our emotions. And to attract them, it couldn't be easier. Just smile. Goats can detect human emotions and are also very emotional themselves. In Tennessee, in the United States, they have a curious way of showing it. Like here on Lisa's farm. Lisa is going to select some of her goats for a show. This kid, just two months old, is called Sergeant Major. He's so excited by the idea of eating his grain that he falls over, his legs completely stiff. Like he's not all there. He quickly pulls himself together. But when Lisa comes to catch him, he panics. Are myotonic goats, also known as fainting goats. When they are overwhelmed or startled, instead of running away, their muscles sometimes go into spasm. It's the result of a hereditary genetic disorder called myotonia congenita. Other than falling down, the animals don't suffer, but the stiffness in their legs sometimes prevents them from jumping over obstacles. Obvious victims for any predator, they have survived thanks to the human beings with which they have developed close relationships. But this isn't yet the case for Sergeant Major. This little savage is going to be clipped for the first time in his life, before taking part in a competition to find the prettiest myotonic goat.
He is frightened and runs away. Lisa finally manages to catch him. Gotcha, little devil. She continues clipping him, leaving the sensitive area around his neck. Too bad, that will have to do. There you go, good boy. As for Vintage, another potential candidate, his toilet is a very different experience. He is six months old and is comfortable around Lisa. Everything goes like clockwork, and she can complete all the finishing touches. big day. Lisa and her favorites head off for the town of Lewisburg. Every year, fans of myotonic goats from across Tennessee come together for the Goats Music and More Festival. It's a first for these kids. To comfort them, Salud, an adult Billy who has already been to events like this, is accompanying them. A friend of Lisa's leads him to the site. Sergeant Major is overwhelmed. He's on a leash so he doesn't fall over, but his legs are stiff, indicating how stressed he feels. In the shelter of their pens, the goats gradually get used to the visitors. There are no fainting fits among the adult myotonic goats. As they get older, they become less sensitive. Taking part in a goat parade doesn't come instinctively. For Sergeant Major, there's still some work to be done. In the grooming area, Vintage is faced with a new situation. Despite his confidence in Lisa, this young Billy is tense. He tries to jump into her arms. And calls for help unsuccessfully. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Goats Music and More Festival. The beauty contest begins with Salud's class. His gait is perfect, matching the steps of his breeder. When the judge examines him, he is very relaxed. 
but it's also important that he demonstrates the characteristics of the myotonic goat breed. He should have prominent eyes and large ears and must be heavy set and muscular because originally these goats were used for meat. Salud fits all the criteria and wins first prize in his class. Vintage is always looking for treats. He's a very affectionate goat, but in terms of his muscle mass, he needs to put on some weight. He comes second. And how will Sergeant Major do? His training seems to have paid off. He's still a little stiff, but his placing second proves he's the kind of goat that learns fast. All of Lisa's billy goats have done really well. Will you stop? <laughs> the festival ends with a surprising activity. Talented folks are doing yoga. The goats' pranks cause a great deal of hilarity among the participants, who enjoy some strangely random massages. Goats have been close to people for millennia and have learned to follow our movements. They get a treat for standing on somebody's back. Given their sociable characters and excellent memories, one might wonder which is the cleverest, human or caprine? Experiments. Alan and Luigi have discovered that domesticated Jimmy. farm goats use information from people to their advantage. We now know that, like with dogs, domestication has shaped the brains of goats. Free spirits that have come down from the mountains also have plenty of qualities to ensure they can become our best friends. Okay. 